Hi everyone, it's Leslie from Hungry Heffy Crafts and I am over on the Chibi Tronics blog today with a light up shaker card. You guys know that I can't get enough of interactive cards so it wasn't enough for me to have a card that lights up. I wanted a shaker on there as well. <laughs> and I have used the Elephant of Surprise Heffy Doodle Stamp Set and some ink blending as well. So I'm starting today with two rectangular pieces of white cardstock, it's the A2 size, and for one of them I'm going to trim down the left and the right with my scalloped rectangle die, just so that it has a nice pretty edge. I'm going to get blendy blendy now with my dye ink pads. These are my vivid dye inks, and to be honest, I really don't use these guys enough. They looked a little bit sad and lonely on my shelf, so I thought that I would take them out and have a play with them. I'm blending this on my piece of card from purple to blue to white and then spritzing it with some water and also mixing up a little white watercolour and um, splattering that with my paintbrush as well. I'm going to be using the Elephant of Surprise stamp set from Heffy Doodle. So I have stamped two of the cute elephant images onto some Clairefontaine DCP paper, which is Copic friendly, and I'm using some cool greys to give it a real light colour. Once I have them all coloured in, I'm going to cut these out with their coordinating dies. And they're going to go on the bottom section of my card, but before I adhere anything else together, I want to add my shaker element at the top. So I'm going to be using some alphabet dies for this. And I kind of wish that I'd made my, my inked panel a little bit wider because there's not much space between the U, the guys, and the R. But never mind, um, I just had to make it work. So I cut these out with my alpha dies, making sure not to lose the little bit on the inside of the R. And then back this with my acetate and I used the, I placed the, the letter R back in its home and put the inside section in onto the acetate, stuck that down with a glue dot. I think a glue dot works best. I've tried lots of different adhesive and, and the glue dot seems to work for me. So these guys are going to, going to go at the bottom and I know that I want to have a little balloon in the trunk of my sideways facing elephant. So from that same Elephant of Surprise Heffy Doodle stamp set, I'm going to stamp the little balloon and I cut a slit into the little trunk of the elephant so that it would tuck in nicely into the curl of his trunk. I've positioned where I want my balloon to be and I know that that's where I want my light to be. So I used a Pearcy tool to poke a hole through the top layer my inked layer so I could find the position then on my base layer and I can build my circuit here. I almost forgot to put down a piece of tape, not tape, a piece of copy paper to hold my battery so don't forget to put that in like I did and then I'm using my copper tape to build a very simple circuit and that little flap of paper enables you to get the copper tape on the top of the battery to make a connection. Now I have my tape and my battery in place. Let's stick the little LED down. I'm using the pink light from the Tropical set and I thought that it'd be fun to add the pink tone to this card and that's where I've also decided to carry through the pink with my sequins inside my shaker and also for the rest of the sentiment. I'm using some quite thin foam tape to create a channel around my die cut letters. And before I stick this down, I did make a hole with a hole punch of where the, the light will be. That just helps it shine through nicely. And because it's quite thin foam tape, I'm using really small sequins and those are from Honey Bee Stamps. Now I'm going to position this, line it up with against the, the top edge of my base and I've added some foam tape to the bottom section as well. And I've stuck on a little mound, I guess it looks a bit like a snow, but a ground. And that I used, for that I used my Mama Elephant Landscape Trio die for that one. 
and for my heart on my balloon I used a heart from the Heffy Doodle Happy Snappy Crocs stamp set and coloured that in with my Copic marker. So now I'm going to position this over the hole where I have my LED underneath and then tuck the little balloon string into the trunk of my elephant and put a little piece of foam underneath him to hold him in place. And my elephant on the right here is going to act as my push button. But to make it a bit more obvious to the recipients that actually it is a light up card, I'm going to add an image from the Heffy Doodle Interactive We Yours stamp set, which says, press me. So I'm going to put that right onto the belly of this little elephant and then stick him onto the card with some glue dots. Here I am now bringing that pink colour, that hot pink, into the rest of the card. I thought it'd be fun to add some more texture. So I've put some foam, some craft foam um, and added some adhesive to the back of it and die cut that through my big shot and stuck it to the front of my card, overhanging the edge slightly. I finished off with a few sequins and a few little splodges of glossy accents. And I also covered the heart on the balloon with a layer of glossy accents. And that also helps when you press the button and it lights up. It helps it really shine brightly. Here's a closer look at some of the blending that we have. Those gorgeous tiny sequins from Honey Bee Stamps. And of course, when you press on the little elephant's belly, the balloon, the heart in the balloon lights up and gives the recipient a nice surprise. Thank you so much for watching this video. Here's some more videos that you may like. If you haven't already, please subscribe to make sure that you don't miss any of my other videos as soon as they're released. You can also leave me a like and a comment down here and don't forget to follow me on social media at Hungry Heffy. I'll see you there. Have a great day and happy crafting. Bye.